let's get started with the 10 common mistakes in developing blockchain projects. Uh, hello, everyone. I uh, would love to thank you all for coming. And I'm um, super excited to, excited to be here with you and uh, for sharing uh, some of the things I've learned so far in blockchain space. Uh, it's around 10 a.m. here in Egypt, and I'm coming here with uh, cup, my cup of coffee. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, uh, before we start, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am Iman Hirawi or Iman Hirawi uh, from Egypt. Uh, I'm a DEFCON 5 scholar at the Ethereum Foundation, a, mentor and knowledge a blockchain mentor and knowledge reviewer at Udacity, uh, Truffle University alumni, and I have a master's degree in Cloud Computing Network from Cairo University. I've been working as a blockchain full stack developer for almost three years now. And recently, I have founded Arabs in Blockchain, which focuses on uh, building blockchain community in, uh, in, the, in MENA region. And uh, SimSim, which provides instant, instant consultation service for building blockchain projects and other stuff. <laughs> and uh, like uh, we do in Truffle University, I will start with fun fact about me. Uh, I was selected as one of, top 10, of the top 10 a uh, DevCon scholar last year in Osaka. So, um, during this session, we will uh, 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 discuss together the 10 common mistakes in, develop in developing blockchain uh, projects. Uh, these mistakes are variant from mistakes that's easy to fix to mistakes that's hard to fix or require much time. Um, uh, to be honest with you, uh, lots of these mistakes I did before, and uh, I don't feel bad about that because this is how uh, we can improve. And I, uh, um, uh, in this session, I will like sharing my point of view uh, uh, regarding the best solution, the best tool you consider. And I do encourage all of you to share with me uh, uh, your uh, thoughts your tools if you, if you know a good tool and if you know a got types and so uh, so i do encourage all of you to use a chatbot uh, sorry chat box and participate and i will make sure that we have time to to uh, to discuss them uh, before we start i would like i would love to emphasize that uh, this presentation is focused on ethereum based projects and let's get started. <clears throat> I, I I don't know uh, whether I can I can I can can use uh, I, I need a help. Uh, can I can I use the presentation from um, the screen here? Good morning. I guess no. I have to. You sure this? Okay. Uh, the first mistake here is applying blockchain into non-blockchain use case. And I think uh, most of you or, or all of you uh, agree with me that uh, this is a very common mistake. Um, blockchain, <clears throat> blockchain is uh, trending and as we, <clears throat> we say, it's a sexy technology. And <clears throat> some businesses uh, uh, have the fear of missing out. So they just uh, uh, apply blockchain into their projects that only to to catch up with the trend. Other uh, other other businesses do that because they they not sure or they couldn't validate their idea before uh, bef uh, starting to uh, build their blockchain projects. So the simple solution for for the or the basic solution for this is don't use blockchain. And uh, if you have an idea and you need a tool that will help you to validate whether it's a good blockchain or not, uh, Simpson will help you to uh, validate your idea if it's a good blockchain use case, use case or not. Um, the second um, mistake here is selecting the long ledger or selecting the long the wrong uh, network. And this is a very tricky mistake because it, it requires uh, a deep knowledge or a deep uh, uh, grasping of the current available network. So, uh, for example, if you are building a game uh, which requires a fast transaction with low cost 
and uh, a few of you, if you choose to build that this project uh, using Ethereum main network uh, rather than other network like uh, uh, Matrix, Tron, uh, Loom network, or any network that uh, provide a fast transaction with lower cost, uh, your choice here is not is not good. So I, as, as uh, you need to like. Um, Take your time to, uh, 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 say, uh, uh, analyze and make research before uh, building your project. Uh, invest in selecting the best blockchain pro project. Think twice and code once. And uh, my recommended tool here is also Simpson, my, my tool, uh, because you can use a, a chatbot uh, 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 to select the best uh, platform, the best network, whether it's uh, uh, permissionless or permissioned, uh, the best platform, whether it's Ethereum, fa Fabric, uh, um, um, Loom, uh, Matrix, and so. And uh, uh, you can, it, it seems also will recommend the best tool to integrate uh, for, for wallet, uh, for handling uh, transaction and so. So if you need like uh, uh, a frame to, uh, to to advise you, you can use Simpson. Uh, let me check the chat. Uh, if you have any 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 um, feedback, uh, any question or or anything, I I am keeping my eyes on on chat. Uh, and the third um, mistake here is developing without knowing your end user very well or when you lack insight in their local regulations. And here I have a, a story from my personal um, experience. Uh, last year, I was developing a charity project based on Ethereum blockchain uh, in Dubai. And uh, I was just using uh, MetaMask as the default uh, Web3 provider. But uh, after after some work, I um, uh, I got a feedback from the product uh, owner from the, my, my, the client um, uh, that we cannot use uh, MetaMask or any plugins that provide Web3 integration because our poten potential user here uh, are Web Web2 user and it's very hard for them to use uh, MetaMask and uh, if we if, um, pushed them to use a MetaMask, this will not be the best uh, user experience uh, for them. Uh, also for regulation, uh, if you are building a crypto-based project and your potential users are living in a country that ban crypto. So think with me, how can I, for example, here in Egypt, we cannot trade uh, crypto. How can I use your service? I cannot buy the crypto or, or exchange it uh, uh, to fake currency or, or so. So you need to, to consider this. And I've seen lots of amazing projects. Uh, uh, unfortunately, doesn't care about this point. Uh, this point. But at the end, you um, uh, your project uh, will, will not uh, reach out uh, the, uh, the, 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 the user you need to reach. So of course here you need the solution here is you need to uh, like uh, um, taking time to analyze analyze your business idea and know your your user very well their regulation uh, and so let me check the chat why is that a new blockchain world uh, thank you. Uh, the next uh, mistake here, ignoring onboarding challenges. Like what's your plan for um, if your end user doesn't have funds or cannot uh, uh, buy uh, crypto. And here I, I remember uh, when I started to learn about blockchain uh, in late 2017 and I cannot use any Ethereum, any crypto service in main, on main network because I don't have Ether or Bitcoin. And at the same time, I cannot buy because my country banned any transactions that uh, uh, are related to crypto. So you need to think wisely how to, to, 
to 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 um, to onboard onboard your your user. Uh, a good solution for this is. Uh, uh, um, applying meta transaction. Meta transaction is for um, uh, um, uh, uh, will let you uh, uh, will let your user to run transaction without paying gas. So there is someone, a third party, or any anyone, or or someone who uh, do it uh, for charity, for example, uh, are paying for their tra uh, transaction. Their, 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 their gas cost, their transaction cost. And uh, also, if they, if they if they need to um, buy crypto, you need to guide them how, where, and why to buy crypto. Um, the majority of your potential user, I think, would uh, will be a new blockchain. So you need to consider uh, um, educating them while they are using uh, the service. The tool, the recommended tool here is. Uh, uh, by economy uh, for meta transaction uh, with by economy you can uh, buy um, uh, uh, you can uh, pay sorry you can pay for transaction using uh, uh, a third party or uh, or, or uh, uh, they uh, recently they have announced that they support paying with token also uh, gas station network are doing amazing here uh, they support both uh, uh, paying with uh, third parties that pay with gas or uh, uh, user uh, exchange their token uh, to pay for uh, their transaction. And for the UX, uh, the best tool I've seen now is Rimble. A Rimble is simply a, um, a, a module or not, it's, it's a project now, but you can in, in install some modules and import uh, um, uh, the components. It's a user-friendly components that you just need to import in your uh, React uh, uh, project. So it's, it's it's for only for React support, only React-based projects. And uh, you need just to customize if you need any customization. Uh, I've used Rimble before, and it's very very easy and amazing, really. And it will it also in their website. Uh, they in, in their website they provide like. A tips and tricks for the best to UX uh, 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 advice. And um, no, it's supported. Uh, but let me check it. <laughs> and if you know any 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 other tool, uh, uh, I would I would encourage you to share with me. Uh, uh, for the next uh, mistake is uh, it's, this is a uh, very two facts, but it has a great impact. Uh, is um, when you uh, force your user to uh, connect to their uh, to his wallet on page load, you literally are blocking your user from exploring uh, uh, your website. So if he doesn't want to connect. He simply will close your website, and uh, uh, he he won't know anything about you, the service you are providing. So a good solution for this is uh, uh, let the user connect when he needs. So uh, uh, if even if he doesn't connect his wallet to your website, he will uh, get a, a good information or a get uh, uh, will know what you are providing with the service. Maybe he will bookmarks. Uh, he will uh, bookmark your your website. He will suggest your service to, uh, to his friends and so. Also, you need uh, uh, to explain how and why he he is connecting. A good tool here is Rimble. And uh, again, if you know any any uh, any tools, uh, uh, please uh, share with with us because all of all it's it's very hard to know every everything so it's good opportunity for me to know everything and uh, exchange our 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 knowledge here the next uh, mistake here is misleading error handling when uh, when the user connect to the rank the wrong uh, network or uh, there is no web3 uh, 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 detected so uh, typically we are handling this kind of, uh, um, of, uh, of mistakes or errors in code, but your, your user needs to understand what's going wrong. 
what he, he, he just sees that it's not working, but he doesn't understand what's going uh, wrong. So you need to uh, illustrate what's a correct network, uh, how to connect and why, and uh, Rimble is doing great here as well. I'll let you check the chat. Uh, but it's not that's it. Uh, it's hard for me to catch up with that with that with the um, discussion in the chat book is in, in the chat, sorry. Um but I, I, I see there is amazing discussion here. <laughs> Uh, for the next uh, mistake, um, is forcing users to install plugins. So we have to handle two two uh, challenges here. If your end user doesn't want to use any plugin, uh, uh, and if um, if your pro, uh, your your user uh, already have a plugin, but you are supporting another one. For example, if you are supporting MetaMask. And your end user only supporting MetaMask, and you, your end user uh, have um, uh, 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 a wallet connect, for example. So, uh, in order to use your service, your end user has to uh, install uh, MetaMask and import his key uh, in MetaMask. But uh, uh, I don't, I don't guess he will do that. He will close your website. So, uh, you need to support multiple uh, wallets. And a good tool here is uh, Web3 model that will let you support multiple wallets. And for uh, uh, plugins, uh, 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 for plugins, uh, 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 if your end user doesn't want to install plugins, uh, Formatic is a good tool to consider. It will let you. Uh, connect to Web3 with no plugins, whatever, uh, regardless the, uh, the the device you are using, and uh, 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 but you need to keep in uh, keep in mind that it's not for free. It's not free service. You need to 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 fight for it. Uh, the next mistake is using technical terms like uh, mnemonic, ERC20, ERC7021. Uh, I always hear that uh, it's, it's all, they, they always say that a blockchain is explained from developers to developers. So using technical terms is something uh, normal. It's, it's good, not bad. But if your poten potential users are not technical people, you need to consider uh, replacing the technical terms with a familiar terms. So you need to ask yourself, who uh, are my potential users before uh, uh, before using uh, any technical terms? So you need to uh, re-read re re your work, or replace any technical terms uh, like ERC20, we can say uh, fungible coin, uh, not a fungible token because even the word token is not familiar word. Uh, um, if it's uh, uh, it's hard for you or you couldn't find a um, uh, the good uh, a familiar word, I guess uh, you can add like a tool tab uh, that explains the meaning. Thank you, Vivek. <laughs> Thank you. I see lots of. Family names here, my friends. I, I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, for the next um, mistake is dealing with blockchain as normal database. And I've seen this mistake a lot because I'm deeply involved in the community and it happens uh, mainly from uh, people who are new to blockchain. Dealing with blockchain as normal database. So they are saving everything on the blockchain. Why blockchain is not designed to do so. So uh, you need to wisely uh, 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 design or architect your, your 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 project. What should be on chain and what should be off chain. We have two type of uh, to, uh, storage. Uh, 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 you can save 
the uh, the data, the important data you need to trace in, in blockchain and any other in, uh, uh, data off off chain. So we are saving the metadata uh, on chain. Typically, we are doing it so, and the, the data itself uh, off chain. So if if you are saving uh, image, for example, we are uh, saving the hash uh, with the link for the image uh, on the blockchain, and we are saving the actual uh, image on any decentralized uh, any any storage service. Um, also, if you are uh, fetching uh, data from external API, you need to know that you cannot uh, talk from blockchain to external any external service uh, uh, directly. You need to use some tools, and one of these tools, uh, or the best tools, uh, I guess, uh, is Chainlink. Uh, for savings or your off-chain data, my recommended tools is if you if you want to use a, decent, a decentralized storage service. Uh, you can use IBFS, it's for free. Uh, but if you want to use a centralized service, uh, you can use AWS, F3, or any centralized service. Uh, let me check the chat. Uh, IBFS is a free one. But you need to, 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 to keep in mind that uh, your data will not be there forever. So if you are caring about this data, you need to use their, uh, they have a service uh, uh, like Benning, it's called Benning service. Yes, IBFS is not for free. <laughs> yes, uh, sorry, uh, AWS is not for free. IBFS is for, for free. My, my pleasure, thank you. Uh, the last one is ignoring testing, and um, this happened uh, uh, in in for for the new, new developers generally. Uh, but in blockchain, testing is very, 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 very important because it saves your time uh, and the guarantee success. So make sure that you are creating a unit test for every function, and the best tool here is Truffle Test because I'm Truffler. Uh, and because it's amazing, to be honest. And Open Zeppelin test helpers are amazing, and you can test uh, uh, even if you are uh, creating a function in the future. So you can test it. And uh, uh, the last tool is Firefly. Firefly will let you test your unit test. So they are testing how much your tests are covered your code. So if you mess a, a function, you will uh, they will you you, uh, you will check the report and see that this function is not covered in your in your unit test. Any question? My pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, this is the end of uh, uh, the ten common mistakes. And I would love to thank you again for your uh, time for your participation and um, wish you all a successful project, uh, blockchain projects with no mistakes. And I would love to hear your feedback, question. Uh, thank you so much. And um, if you are interested in some, some uh, uh, reaching out on my community, if you're interested in, uh, for anything, please feel free to reach me out. I will keep, I will leave my contact uh, as well in the chat, bo uh, chat box. And um, before uh, uh, ending this presentation, I would love to send my special thanks to my uh, Trump University mentor, uh, Kevin Plor, for his endless support, and uh, Andy Tudhop from Status I Am for his feedback and for his support. Uh, uh, by the way, I was um, uh, I'm a, I, I, um, I was in a kernel uh, Jinx block. And I know uh, Vivek uh, um, had a talk here uh, in Truffle, uh, Truffle, and I do encourage all of you to join Kernel because it's an amazing community and will uh, help you to improve and um, um, know a lot of good stuff. And of course, the community there is amazing and very supportive. Thank you so much. It's my, it's my pleasure. Thank you. I will leave my, my data. Thank you, William. Thank you so much. <laughs>
any any question any any feedback um if you know any good tool please feel free to share it with with us thank you so much <laughs> There is there was a question uh, about how I could solve the um, this one uh, uh, the the charity project uh, uh, that doesn't doesn't want to use uh, uh, MetaMask. Uh, my email uh, email dot gmail. <laughs> I'm not sure I have mentioned in in my talk. Uh, um in my talk uh, um uh how can I, how i solve it or not but uh we, we we did some research and uh we ended up with uh, uh selecting a, uh formatic or uh, uh building our custodial mo model uh, wallet so um because of the cost we were searching for a lower cost uh, uh, service we had to create our custodial uh, wallet uh, and this is how we uh, we could solve it i'm not sure this is the best or not but uh, this is what uh, the client or the product owner uh, wants <laughs> 